proud of my makeup today. I think I look pretty good and the hair is not bad considering it's like day three hair. I have just been so tired and cooped up in the house today. I'm gonna step out and go to Goodwill. I've never been to this Goodwill, so I don't know what the quality of the products are gonna be like, but I'm also going on a trip next week. And so this week will just be like preparing for the trip, getting ready with a couple of things I need to get and just feeling a little bit more excited. Last week was a heat wave in New York and today is like one of the first not extremely hot days in a long time. So I look not sweaty and I love that. Let's go to Goodwill. Okay, I'm here at Goodwill. Apparently the Goodwill that I used to go to when I was in high school no longer exists. So then I looked up the second closest Goodwill, but that's a Goodwill bins and I'm just not ready for that today. So I went to a Goodwill that's kind of far away. I have no idea what it's gonna be like today. So hopefully we get a little something. I am looking for very specific things, but I've been told that if you like envision those things and plan ahead, then you can manifest them. And maybe the items that I'm looking for will be here. I kid you not, there was a man in there with a mannequin doll and he was doing like like a puppet thing where he was like pretending he was talking to the mannequin. So I could not record in there, but I didn't get anything. Everything was just not really calling to me, which I think is a good sign because I don't want to buy something that I don't necessarily need because that's not the point of thrifting. It's my mom's birthday next week, so, you know, of course I got her a gift. Aside from the gift, uh, we are going on our family trip during that week, which is also my uncle's birthday. And so I thought it would be cute if, like, in the morning when we got up at our Airbnb, I set up some cute stuff. First of all, how cute is this? I love peaches, so, like, this is <laughs> so cute. I'm going to put my mom's gift in here, and I'm going to give it to her this week instead of next week. And then on top of that, I just went to Home Goods and like bought a bunch of other cute birthday stuff. I got like these cute napkins. This one's like in the shape of a cake. We are going to like the middle of nowhere, so I have no idea if I'll actually be able to get a cake. But if I can, I got the cutest little animal candles. They're all wearing like birthday hats, which is so cute. I was debating whether or not I should get birthday hats for us. But I think I'd be the only one who wants to wear them. <laughs> and so, not the birthday hats, but I got like the balloon banners, happy birthday. And then this really cute garland that's like this floral themed. So I'm going to have these hung up and then hopefully I can get like a cake or maybe like some donuts or something and stick these candles on for them. I think they'll be surprised, but... I'm really excited to do something. My mom is like the most important person in this family. She is very underappreciated. And I don't know what it is, but like no one in this family takes any birthday seriously. Not just my mom's, but like my dad's birthday, no one cares. My sister's birthday, whatever. So like I always try to do something for everybody because I don't know, when you're an adult, it's like you have very few occasions to like really celebrate people and all adults like say they don't really care about their birthday but if you do something for them they appreciate it and they like it so i like to do a little bit something for them anyways for her birthday i got her this skims sleep set i know she will love it because i have one and she said she wanted it in the long sleeve version i have like the shorts version but i got her like the long sleeve with the long pants didn't have 
any of the color options that I wanted at Nordstrom, so I had to get her black. I hope she likes it. But I mean, you can't go wrong with skins because it just feels so good. And then I think that's gonna be enough for the birthday stuff. Recently, every time something comes in the mail, my mom wants whatever PR it is. So I've been happy to give her a lot of the PR that I've been receiving. So she has plenty of like stuff stuff for me. It's just like wanting to appreciate her on the actual day is something that's kind of important and more top of mind for me. So that's what I am doing now. Ugh, this is so cute. <laughs> A little date night look. I feel really good about this blush. I've been loving this Tarte blush. It's a little bit red instead of pink. And so I just put it all over so I look like I have been in the sun all day. And then on top of that, I've been obsessed with this Hermes lip oil. I think it looks really good on me and I like that it's like shiny but not too sticky and it smells really, really good. I'm wearing the color Rose and yeah, I'm sweating, but it's gonna be okay because once it gets dark, it's like actually quite chilly. So I'm ready for dinner. I saw on TikTok that there were a lot of girls who were buying Juicy Couture from Marshalls. So of course I had to go myself and I found a lot of things, but there weren't a lot in my size. I'm pretty sure I'm like an X small, but they didn't have a lot of smalls even. Most of it was like large and X large. So it's been very much picked through by the TikTok girlies, but I ended up getting three things. Well, I guess it's two things. First is a set. So it's this purple shorts that say juicy across the butt. And then it comes with this top. It is like a really soft material. So it's definitely not for the summer. I don't know if these shorts will fit because they look a little bit big for me. But if they don't, I'll probably just give them to my sister. And then they had the track pants. I would have loved to get the matching top, but um, I got this in a small and honestly it looks pretty big, but it has a drawstring on this one. So even if it doesn't fit, I'm just gonna squeeze it all the way up. And yeah, I'm really excited. Even the cashier was like, oh, I didn't know we had these. So love this. I was one of those girls who loved Juicy Couture in middle school. And my mom being super reasonable, of course, was like, you're not wearing a $400 track suit at 11 years old because you're gonna grow out of it. She did let me have one jacket though, and I definitely grew out of it and I'm kind of sad that it's gone. But I think that one jacket was $110 in my memory. That's what I remember it, because I saved up for it. This track pants, $12.99. What? This set, $12.99. <gasps> In other words, I love Juicy. Thank you, Marshalls, for letting my middle school dreams come true. I drove all around town running errands and I could not find a single thing 
that I want to eat today. I just don't want anything. Like I walked around Whole Foods, zero foods interested me. So I think I'm just gonna eat a cup of noodles because I give up. I'm just gonna eat noodles, call it a day. It's only a one week trip, but I know if I forget anything, I will be gravely upset. So, gotta pack very well. Mm -hmm.